everyone. Thank you so much for being here today. My name is Denise. I'm also known as Hey Wig Sister on Instagram and Facebook. Today I'm here to bring you a wig review in partnership with Continental Wigs in the UK. This is Appreciate by Natural Image in the color Creamy Glow Rooted. Super sassy, short, sort of shag. It's really adorable. Now, I've reviewed for Continental Wigs in the past, but it's been over a year since I've shared a wig from them. I'm really excited to tell you about them as another resource, and don't worry if you're in the United States, they do ship to the and US. their prices are really good. So, if you wanna know more about Appreciate, or Continental Wigs, or both, <laughs> stick around. grateful to Continental Wigs for sending me appreciate so I could show all of you. They are a small family owned business. I have loved working with them. I really the enjoy years. being able to show you guys some different, not only different retailer resources, but some different brands. Natural Image is a brand that is typically sold overseas in the UK. Not really here in the United States. If you've never checked out Continental Wigs, please go to their website. I will link this wig in the I've description. from Continental Wigs a number of times. I haven't just reviewed from them. I am also a customer. Their shipping is super, super fast. It always gets to me really quickly here in Minnesota, so don't worry about that. All right, let's take a look at Appreciate from all sides. Maybe I should untuck it briefly. How fun is this cut? I mean, you've got layers upon layers and a little tiny bit of wave here and there. Almost like, uh, you know, if you've got just very slightly wavy hair and you air dried your hair. But I mean, just layers, it is so fun. The overall length of this one is about seven inches. I am eight inches from my hairline to the tip of my chin. And this falls, I mean, some of this back here is a little bit lower than that, but really in the front, it falls just, just at that level. And so I would consider this more like seven-ish inches when you factor in the overall length in the front. It's so fun. Now this piece has a lace front. Let's take a look at that. The lace is, it's considered an extended lace front because it goes all the way to the top of the ear tabs and a full mono top. Now, I have this parted right going over to the left because that's really where this piece wanted to part. I am struggling a little bit to get this one to change the part. Theoretically, you can do that. You can go left over to the right, you can go center, that you can kind of see it's being stubborn. That is really common with synthetic wigs. Working with it, constantly encouraging the fibers to redirect can be one solution. Heat can be another. Now this is not heat friendly. So you're not gonna take like a hot airbrush to it or any meaningful heat, but you can take steam to it with just a regular clothing steamer and a brush, I wouldn't do it on my head if I were you, to really encourage those fibers to go in a different direction. I just wanna mention that because these full mono tops, and let me just show you the top while I'm talking about it, are really awesome because of the flexibility that they give you in styling, because all of that, the whole top of the head, that's a generous monofilament, is free parting space. But sometimes wigs don't want to part. <laughs> they don't want to cooperate. So you have to have some tools in your toolkit in order to make that happen. We've got soft ear tabs with bendable stays, extended nape, Velcro adjusters. The rest is open wefted. This is a beautiful cap. These wigs are actually more budget friendly than a lot of their counterparts with a cap like this. I think you'd pay well over $150 more in some brands for a cap this nice than you will for this one. At the Continental Wigs website, they do include the price in US dollars as well as one other currency, and I can't remember what it is, in addition to the pound sterling, which is their currency over in the UK. So you can take a look and see what this would cost you if you're going to be paying from the US. 
and if you pay like via PayPal, for example, it'll just do the exchange for you. It's not tricky at all. Trust me, I've ordered from them a number of times. It doesn't feel really any different than if you're ordering from a U.S. retailer. I'm only saying that because I know I have a lot of people from the U.S. who watch me, but if you're in other countries, you know, they will definitely work with you. I love headbands with wigs. I think it makes such a huge difference in sort of tamping down any poof or any volume that you might be struggling with. When you're new to wigs, even low volume, no permatees wigs can be overwhelming if you've been losing your hair for some time and it can take some time to get used to it. So throwing on a headband of any sort can really make a huge difference. Tucking behind your ears can also make a huge difference. Look at how different this looks now. Not only can it make it more comfortable for you as you're trying to get used to a different style or a new style or even wigs in general, but it can allow you to change up your look and help you to feel normal again when wearing wigs. Just like you could style your bio hair potentially, you can style wigs as well. I love short wigs like this with headbands. I just think they're awesome. And you could even put this in a very, very low pony if you want to give it even less, I mean, just to make it look even more natural, less like a wig. This is not going to be hot in the summer. All wigs are a little bit hot. It's just the nature of putting something on your head. But if you can find yourself a piece like this, and then you can style it up off your face and even just a little bit that may be on your neck. I think it'd be golden to wear this in the summer as well. I just think it's great. Let's talk about fit. I think this runs really true to average, even a little bit larger than average around the circumference. I have a 22 inch circumference and I have cinched this in a lot so that it fits me really comfortably with no wig grip or anything underneath it. I get really good coverage. These ear tabs fall down exactly where I like them to fall. And because this is a rooted color, if a little bit of my bio hair shows, it's fine because it matches the root, but I can tuck it. I get good coverage from it. I do get some extra cap on the top, which tells me that this is running really true to average because my over the head measurements are very, very petite. So I would say if you're 22 to 25 inch circumference, 21 and a half to 22 and a half, I think you're gonna be okay. It has a lot of stretch. So I definitely think that if you run a little bit bigger than average, you could potentially try this one out depending on your other measurements because it fits me a little bit big. I cinch it in and I have room over the top and plus all that stretch. It's a really, really comfortable cap. All right, you guys. I think I got it all. Let's talk about color. Oh, bangs. Before I go to color, let's talk about bang potential. Because I always get that question. Can I cut bangs into that wig? <laughs> you can. Now, it does have a little bit of a shorter, shorter pieces in the front, which I really like for bang cutting because it gives you a little bit of a template to work with. You get her back where she wants to be. So I do think that you could easily cut bangs into this one. It doesn't have a ton of cowlick on, at least in the piece I have in the front, which means it should lay okay. I have a video where I show you how to trim up bangs with a thinning razor. I will let, tack that in, or I'll link it, I should say, in the description so that you can take a look at that. If you've never cut bangs into a wig before, but you're a wig person, you're a wig girl, and you really want to be able to cut bangs in, I'll show you a really easy hack that doesn't require a lot of skill. So hopefully that'll help you. All right, let's talk about color. Creamy Glow Rooted. This is a rooted golden blonde. It is a really pretty color. Creamy is a great description of this color. It has some medium gold blonde in it. And I do see some pale ash blonde as well. It can kind of mimic almost some platinum highlights and it's very dynamic. You can see some dark blonde, very light blonde. It definitely looks highlighted. It's not stripey, but it looks highlighted. It looks expensive. <laughs> it looks like you got this colored by a very competent stylist. There's that root. It is a nice root. It's a light root. I would consider this a media light it's sort of a medium light golden blonde, uh, brown. I always have trouble with that when I mix those words together. It may look darker because of all the light I have on me, but it's shadowy. It doesn't look like a dark brown. This looks to me like it could potentially be a 10. It's not dark and it's not long. 
it's definitely just a shadow. I love shadow roots because it allows me with my naturally dark hair to wear blondes. And I think rooting on wigs really helps them to look more realistic and less wiggy. One more time. Let's get outside so that you can see this color outside. I love tucking this. I think this is gonna be fun to style. It's gonna be fun to put clips in it. You can get it up off your face by putting a little bit of a clip in it. That changes up the look. So much fun stuff can be done with this one. I will say that this does look just a tiny bit shiny to me. It has a little bit of synthetic shine. Tamp that down with dry shampoo, cornstarch, baby powder, product, and it will just dissipate over time and as you wear it. It's not excessive at all. I've seen much worse. All right, let's get outside so you can see this color outside. Thank you, Continental Wigs, for sending me. Appreciate it so I could share it with everybody and talk about you guys again. It's been so long. I really like working with you. All right, friends, I'll talk to you in my next video. Hey friends, here we are outside with Creamy Glow Rooted. Let's see if we can get a good look at this color. Oh, blowing it right in my face. <laughs> There's that rooting. You can see it moves really naturally in the wind. It just blows in the face. So if you're going to be outside and it's really windy, just bring a clip with you. You can clip it with that lace front. You can clip it to the side and that will really help. Beautiful movement, beautiful color. All right, everybody. Hopefully that close-up helped. Let me try to look at you guys one last time. Thanks for watching. Thank you.